Hey everyone, it's Alicia Malone. Welcome to another episode of Fandango Indie Movie Guide, my last for 2017. And we're kicking off our final episode with a big bang in the form of Paul Thomas Anderson's latest movie, Phantom Thread. This is set in the 1950s in the world of fashion with Daniel Day-Lewis in apparently his final film role, let's hope not, as an egotistical fashion designer who takes in various women and uses them as muses and then discards them. Good morning. Will you have dinner with me? Yes. This is all about a very complex relationship and the power plays and who is damaging who as one of the muses played brilliantly by Vicky Creeps refuses to go quietly. Stop! Are you sent here to ruin my evening and possibly my entire life? Stop it! Phantom Thread will no doubt divide audiences, particularly with its twist ending, but it's exactly that ending which made the movie for me. It is dark, disturbing, perverse, and also quite hilarious. Definitely check out Phantom Thread, it's in theaters from Christmas Day, because it's a film that you are not likely to forget anytime soon. Whatever you do, do it carefully. Another film out on Christmas Day is Molly's Game, starring the lovely Jessica Chastain, playing a real-life person, Molly Bloom, who became what they called a poker princess. She went from being an Olympic-level skier to organizing underground poker championships for celebrities in Hollywood. You ran games in LA for roughly eight years? Yeah. And then you ran games in New York for roughly two. I haven't run a game in over two years, not to spoil the ending. But that's when the government raided my game and took all of my money, assuming all of it was made illegally, which it wasn't. It's a fascinating true story, and this is written and directed by Aaron Sorkin, so it's full of that fast-talking Sorkin-esque dialogue. And I was really impressed with his directorial style. You can see that he's taken influence from a lot of the greatest directors working today, from Fincher to Scorsese. It zips along at a fantastic pace. Idris Elba is wonderful as the lawyer trying to help Molly out and Jessica Chastain holds down that screen with so much power. Molly's Game, another fantastic female lead performance in 2017. See it in theaters from December 25. Why are you in this alone? Where are the people you're protecting by not telling the whole story? It's not their names. I'm protecting Charlie. It's mine. Tell me why. Because it's all I have left. Because it's my name. And on December 29, you can see Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. This is also based on a true story about a young man played by Jamie Bell who met the movie icon Gloria Graham, played here by Annette Benning, and had a relationship with her. Tell me how I look. You look beautiful. This is a very interesting true story and Jamie Bell and Annette Bening have fantastic chemistry together, but what I really liked about it was the way the story is told. Director Paul McGuigan goes back and forth in time and shows you different perspectives and that is just so much more interesting than telling the story in a perfect linear way. Film stars don't die in Liverpool. If you're a classic film buff like I am, you'll really enjoy seeing this sneak peek into Gloria Graham's life out in theatres from December 29. Has anyone ever told you you look like Lauren Bacall when you smoke? Humphrey Bogart. Oh. I didn't like it then either. And two movies to watch over the New Year break at home. Coming on Fandango now from January the 2nd, Wonderstruck, directed by Todd Haynes. This tells two intersecting stories about two young kids, both who have trouble hearing, one in the 1920s and one in the 1970s. The production design and the cinematography really stand out in this film. The 1920s portion feels like a genuine silent film. The 1970s New York makes you feel like you are there. And you'll Julianne Moore plays multiple roles. If you missed it in theaters, watch it at home on Fandango Now from January 2nd. How do you know my name? And don't miss a charming indie from 2017, Lucky, the final performance from Harry Dean Stanton, and it is a perfect way to say goodbye to this incredible actor. It's got shades of Paris, Texas, as you see Harry Dean wander through the desert, and a great cameo performance from David Lynch. I got this anxiety attack. I fell. 
Lucky fell down. Let's not make a production out of it. Full of charming, quirky characters, Lucky is a great film. If you didn't catch it in theaters, watch it at home from January 2nd. How about you just suck it? Happy holidays and a very happy new year to you all. And I just want to thank you for coming along with me on this journey, watching my stuff week in, week out as I try to support the smaller films out in theaters. It makes a huge difference. And there's been some amazing films this year. I'll see you in 2018. Until then.